All right, here is our McLaren 570 GT. Gonna do a walk around video. We'll just start by a quick circle. This is a very rare special ordered color. It's absolutely stunning in person. All right, let's start here with the front nose of the car. Uh, it does have some rock pecs. Uh, my recommendation would probably be to have the front bumper cap repainted. They are small rock pecs, the size of the tip of a ballpoint pen. Uh, but I think if you have the front bumper cap reshot and then put PPF on it, uh, that, that would take care of everything. Uh, there's one kind of put some of these into perspective as you can see like little pecs just little stone pecs from driving um, you know nothing big I've got one that's probably the biggest spot I see on the front right here you can see it just a chip there but there's but there is little pecking on the front uh, of the bumper uh, when you look at the hood there's very little on the hood. It's just down low. Uh, we'll come over to this side and see a little bit more. Got a, got some here, here, some in here, and over here. If you look closely, uh, take a look at the windshield. Uh, the windshield is not all pecked up. It does have a couple small little little spots. And you can see right there and there, but nothing significant. Just a couple little small ones like that. Let's go over here to the driver's door. And shut it. Uh, there's no uh, on the fender. Other than where we just went through a little bit of water. Uh, there's no marks down the driver's door. Oh, no. Like one little peck right here. Uh, but looking down at the lower rocker, uh, it's not pecked up. Uh, there's no scratches or dings in the door. Uh, same with the rear fender. No, door, uh, no dings or scratches on the fender. Uh, go back up here and look at the front. Uh, driver's side wheel, uh, no curb rash, uh, tread on the tires is very good. Uh, look here at the rear tire and wheel, uh, rear wheel on the driver's side, there's no, uh, no curb rash, uh, tread is good. Look across the rear bumper. No scratches or dings or anything there. The lower diffusers, a little hard with the shadow, but uh, there's no issues on the diffuser, no damage on those. Take a look down the uh, passenger side. Looking down the rear fender, uh, there is a couple small little scratches. These can probably be buffed. Um, let's see if I can get it where it'll show right here and then right there and a couple little pecs right there uh, the rear wheel no issue at all close this door uh, on the door itself there's no issues no dings or scratches looking up here on the front wheel no curb rash at all. On the front fender, everything's good there. Again, just on the lower bumper. Got some little minor rock pecking there. Go across the top, no issues. All right, now we're getting a little cloud cover. I can get some interior shots without a whole lot of shadows. Uh, the interior on this car is very nice. Uh, 
Carpets aren't all worn or stained. Uh, seats are in very good condition. No bolster wear. And there comes our sun again. We've got carbon fiber on the steering wheel and the uh, shifters on the center console. Take a look at the rear shelf. Everything's really nice back here. My clouds just are not really cooperating to get uh, a really good interior without any shadows. But take a look from this side. You can see the dashboard is all in really good shape on the uh, seat here. No bolster wear. Carpeting is all really nice. Door panel all really nice as well. glass roof all right now that I got some clouds I'm gonna do a little bit uh, more on the interior so I don't have any shadows As you can see again the interior is extremely nice carbon fiber on the sill here isn't scratched up at all go around here to the passenger side Again, everything's just super, super nice in here. Again, the carbon uh, fiber on the uh, entry into here is in very good condition as well. You can see everything here and on the back shelf is nice. Again, on this seat, back uh, not all scratched up. Here you can see the Backup camera functioning as it should. I'm gonna just do a quick drive down our side street here. You can see everything uh, looks really good. There's no check engine lights or any other lights on. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the navigation so you can see that the navigation screen is working. Let me get uh, zoomed out on it. See it uh, is working as it should. I don't know if that's too dark, but you can see I've got it to operating temperature. Oil temperature is good, coolant temperature is good. Got no issues uh, anywhere else. Current miles are 12,849 miles. All right, not sure if you're gonna be able to see, but I am going to demonstrate the lift system working. So we're at normal height now, and it is going up as it should see on the indicator that it's lifting and now it's at the at its high position we'll now go ahead and lower it you can see well, it's hard to see in the video but it is lowering you can see on the indicator that it is going down and it is now at its normal height take a quick look under the front bonnet we have the owner's manual we have the uh, battery charger for the lithium ion battery. The tow hook is down in there. Uh, we do have both keys with this car. All right, I'm going to give it just a couple quick revs so you can hear the sound from the outside. 